think you're having a hot summer this year, then spare a thought for NASA's newest spacecraft. This is the Parker Solar Probe, and this Saturday it sets off on a journey to fly closer to the sun than any man-made object has ever flown before. It will go to about 6 million kilometers from the solar surface and face temperatures of 1,400. This is a dangerous and potentially very rewarding mission because the Parker Solar Probe will actually fly through the solar corona. That's the outer halo of gas around the sun where phenomena like the solar wind, solar flares and coronal mass ejections are produced. Now there's a lot to learn in this hellish environment because what happens right next to the sun really impacts us here on Earth. We've all seen the images of the Aurora Borealis and Australis, where the solar wind interacts with our upper atmosphere. And those ejections from the sun can actually damage satellites and even cause electricity blackouts in extreme cases. So NASA scientists will use the Parker Solar Probe to sample the magnetic fields in the sun's corona, giving them a better chance at forecasting solar activity in the future. And they'll also have help in their mission from a new European spacecraft, ESA's Solar Orbiter, which will fly further away from the sun and image it with a complementary set of instruments. Solar Orbiter is currently under construction by Airbus in the UK and will launch next year. So some serious scientific scrutiny of the sun is due with NASA's Parker Solar Probe set for the hottest ever close encounter with our star. Jeremy Wilkes, Euronews.